Right, after six weeks and seven phases of voting in the world's largest democratic exercise, India will finally find out the results today. There's a lot of action expected through the day. Of course, the world's eyes will be on who will govern the fastest growing economy in the world for the next five years. The Election Commission of India will start counting hundreds of millions of votes from 8 a.m. amid tight security, announcing the results of the country's 18th Lok Sabha elections. The country's Prime Minister Narendra Modi is ruling Bharatiya Janata Party, it's seeking to extend its decade in power by another five years. While opposition is hoping to defy the exit polls and pull off a surprise, Congress is hoping to stage a comeback after successive defeats in the last two general elections. All right, as always, we have our reporters fanned out across key locations in India. We have with us right now our correspondent Idris Sloan, who is joining us from the counting center in Srinagar. Idris, thank you so much for joining us. Also, we have with us Disha Shah, who has been getting us all the updates from Maharashtra. Idris, I want to come to you first. As per some exit poll predictions, it seems like a close battle between the BJP and the India bloc in the Union Territory. Counting is, of course, expected to start soon. What can you tell us what's the mood like on ground right now? Well, Haim, there's a lot of excitement among the people and eagerly uh, all the p political parties as well as the locals are waiting uh, for the counting to start. If we talk about uh, m most of the exit polls, uh, they've clearly given uh, the uh, India bloc, which is the National Conference and Congress, which was fighting together in the Kashmir region. Uh, most of the exit polls in the, uh, have said that all the three seats will go to the National Conference from the Kashmir region. While as if we talk about the Jammu region, there are two seats there. and. Uh, both of them have been uh, mostly given to the BJP. They are all the, both the seats already. Uh, uh, the two MPs are from the BJP at the moment as well. Uh, so it's going to be seen whether that has changed from the previous times or not, because uh, uh, all the three seats of national conference uh, were with them since 2019, uh, and uh, this was the first election that took place after the uh, abrogation of Article 370, and whether that has worked in favor of BJP uh, or has worked against them uh, will be seen today. Uh, but most of the exit polls are showing that uh, the former Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir, Umar Abdullah, who is fighting from the Baramullah constituency, uh, is going to win that seat. While as uh, the former, uh, another former Chief Minister, Mehbooba Mufti, who is fighting from the Anatnag uh, constituency, uh, might lose. Uh, although we did see on the ground that she had a lot of support while she was campaigning all through uh, the uh, South Kashmir as well as the Poonch and Rajori districts. Uh, this time, uh, because uh, there are because Jammu and Kashmir saw the delimitation, so uh, it was a, it, there were different areas and new areas which were added to the previous constituencies, uh, like Anatnag, uh, which uh, earlier had only the, the seat of Anatnag and uh, South Kashmir districts, uh, was connected uh, to the regions in Jammu, which is Rajori and Punch. Uh, so there was a change in that, and that's to be seen whether that has helped the regional political parties or will be actually helping uh, the national party like BJP. But there's a lot of excitement for for today uh, because it's also for the first time we saw people coming out in huge numbers uh, all the uh, records of the 40 years last 44 decades were broken this time in the election as people ca came out in huge numbers so uh, a lot of excitement we are uh, yes. going to watch all through the day uh, but uh, looking at the exit polls it seems uh, the seats that the political parties are already mm. holding uh, in Jammu and Kashmir uh, will go back to them only. Idris, absolutely. A lot of excitement and we are going to be coming back to you through the course of the day to get more updates on what's happening on your front. And of course, I'd, now to, I'd like to now shift focus to and speak with Disha. We want to shift focus to Maharashtra. Disha, of course, is joining us from uh, the counting center of Mumbai. Uh, Disha, you know, we've been speaking about all the action that has been happening in Maharashtra all through the course of these seven phases, all the uh, phases that have completed. Now, can one call this a battle? 
to determine the real Shiv Sena and the real NCP. Talk to us about what you're picking from the ground. Well, absolutely, this election is going to be very different and uh, it is going to be about political supremacy if you talk about for both the alliances here, the NDA as well as the MVA because for the very first time this election uh, happened under the new government. The voters here uh, voted in a very changed political scenario. We saw the parties being split uh, just two years ago uh, here in Maharashtra and that is how the new alliances were formed and this is for the very first time where we are looking at one of the biggest political uh, uh, you know entire uh, coverage also we saw because even till the last minute the alliances were uh, being very chaotic they did not really announce the candidates name as well so that sort of seat sharing talks were really going on till the last minute uh, but this time around today of course it is going to be a very important verdict because Maharashtra sends 48 seats to the Lok Sabha it is the second highest after Uttar Pradesh so whatever result comes will really decide uh, the political uh, narrative as well for the coming years uh, if you talk about Maharashtra specifically we saw a direct contest between BJP versus Shiv Sena in majority of the seats and whereas in Maharashtra we saw a direct contest between the two Shiv Sena factions uh, at least in 13 seats so the outcome of who the real Shiv Sena and NCP is will be decided by the voters once the counting really starts at about 8 a.m. and as per the early trends we will uh, definitely get to know because the exit polls have really predicted that the BJP led NDA might win in big numbers but in India's financial capital city Mumbai it might be Uddhav Thakre's stronghold considering he has the Shiv Sena has been the bastion for last 25 years so uh, that is why and this election we saw some high uh, stakes uh, going on we saw the contest direct between Baramati uh, we saw NCP versus NCP two family members fighting uh, this election for the very first time which has never happened ever in the history of politics in Baramati. So that is something which was very interesting to watch out right. for. We also saw to ensure that BJP has a strong hold, they fielded some very high profile candidates. So it will be interesting to see that what entirely the decision today is as to who the real Shiv Sena and NCP will be decided once the counting begins. All right. Well, Disha, thank you so much for bringing us the latest on this as well as uh, Idris. Thank you so much. Of course, we'll continue to come back to you uh, through the course of the day.